Well, but the thing, thing is, the reason, I, another reason I like Hold on, hold on, Sam. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying, right. I'm trying to, I'm working on your behalf. Let, all right. Let all the right. lawyer, let your lawyer. I'll let you cook. I'll let you cook. <laughs> all right, I'll let you cook. Hey, he know he full of shit, too. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm telling you the truth. A lot of all these right. dudes that women pass up on every single day wind up becoming great. They wind up being the biggest streamers. They wind up having the biggest companies. They wind up making the most money. They but wind up being absolutely awesome, but a lot of times y'all yes, can't get past. Listen, y'all can't get past the. Cha- listen, that's not a majority y'all focus on the outward. Y'all focus on the <laughs> outward exterior. You focus at on the time. At time, at time, for every Kaisenet that blows up and be the biggest streamer, I want to be like Hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, fucking All right. heavy D. Chill out. <laughs> All right, for every Kaisenet is almost. Almost a hundred thousand niggas that didn't live up to that. Yes, everybody has the potential to be a top notch gamer. He already make a hundred thousand a year. Yeah, but that's a majority of men, Anton. But you're on, you're literally not. you're literally trying to see and say, okay, because Kaisenet did it, then <laughs> he men. lived up to some potential. Then I didn't, you're, ever, I didn't uh, mention Kaisenet. I'm, I'm saying that that was the gap I used. But see, you can't ignore the hundred thousand. That failed trying to be like Tyson. That trying it's to not, but but it's okay. Tysonet. But it's Ooh. okay. The fact that he the fact that he has a job. But see again, y'all missing all of the all of the context clues that makes him a great dude, right? Because he already great. He just hasn't fully realized his potential, right? Y'all was focused on the outward exterior. You focused on his background. You focused on his hat. His, his head. All of this is just that's stuff. That stuff that could be listen. You can go and do a, a a a remix and go and take a dude and literally do a um, you know, a makeover and make him a completely different dude just based off of the stuff. You looking at the outward exterior. I'm looking at his mindset. I'm looking at his confidence. I'm looking at the fact that he marketed himself effectively. I'm looking at the fact that he already got a job. Nobody asked the right questions. And no, women just auto- no, no, it, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. <laughs> no. Women, women, women automatically assume that he wasn't him or he didn't have great potential or he wasn't or date him based off of where he at, based off of the shit that he presented instead of based off of the stuff that actually means something. I'm telling and there's nothing wrong with failing. The fact that he got a job and he's starting to work on his business and he's working on his content creation at the same time, you don't get a better dude than that. A dude that's willing to work, that's willing to hustle, that has confidence, that is, that is, what the, where the fuck you gonna find another 24-year-old? Well, well, stuff gets you, you in the door. On. Your outward appearance and what you look like gets you in the door. What you talking about? No, it gets you in the door with people that don't really <laughs> they matter. Don't get to, they don't get to know all that other shit about you, nigga, if you wear hats like that, nigga. Okay. I, I guarantee <laughs> I guarantee Mark this day. Hey, Mark let, this let, day. Let, Monday, let, let, August, Mark, Monday, August, Monday, August, August 20th, don't you? What's wrong with Monday, 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 August 21st, there's a, there's a 2023. There's a small of women that date men that wear hats like that. <laughs> Anton, would you suggest men to date women for their potential also? Because I feel like that's it's, dating a person for their potential is a setup for failure. Like Women is different from women versus men. What men should look for in women is completely different from what women, women should look for in men. But the, the reason I like old, another reason I like old women is because I know that they'll appreciate respect and chivalry, and they don't been through all the bullshit with guys who didn't treat them right. And another thing is that if they old and single, they financially established taking care of their suburb. So a woman that's in her forties and fifties wouldn't need me financially. <laughs> that she'll be with me. But I thought you make two thousand a week though. Yes. Yes, but women my age will probably use me for that. But I know that, that if a woman's in her 40s and 50s, the chances that she'll be with me for what I can do for, for her financially will be somewhere along the lines of slim and none. So you're out there and you don't want nobody. Now watch, watch this, watch this, watch this. Let me see. So wait. Hold on, hold on, Noel. Oh, Noel. Let, me, let me ask you a question. Oh, no. I'm going to ask all of the women a question. At 24 years old, if you are 24 years old, based off of what you see and what you know right now off of them, I want every woman to answer the question, would you give him a chance? Him? Yes. No. Next. No, okay, no for Carrie. Carrie. No, no way. No. 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 And I can I can tell you, I can tell you why. That's it. Okay, okay. well let, let me let me find out. Let me get everybody else's perspective first. Carrie, would you would you give him a chance? Would you give him an opportunity? An opportunity to do what? <laughs> to go on a date. Just give, give him a chance. <laughs> but then give him a chance. But then, I mean, I'm, I'm serious because, like, would I go out on a date with him? Yep. Yeah, would you give him a shot? 
Nigga, why are you thinking about it? Well, because <laughs> you got a letter answer, I'm thinking Quentin. about when, I'm, when I was 24. If I'm not in a relationship and I'm 24, depending on how you meet a person, you mm-hmm. might be inclined, like, if, if he had a good personality, if, like, it depends on how the meet even happens, I might be inclined to go out on a on a date, because it doesn't make him my boyfriend, but I don't know. Like, the way he presented himself tonight, he seemed a little bit more on the goofier side than, like, yo, he's cool, but I don't know if that's how he would have really approached me, so I, I don't know. Oh, that ain't how I approach women at all. GP, put him on the two screen. How, what hold, you on, gonna say hold, on, Quinn. hold on, Quinn. Miss Sanchez, would you give him a chance? At 24, I would pass, and at 40, I would probably still pass. She, no, nah, <laughs> nigga, she, no, 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 the freaky. No, hold on, hold on, Quinn, hold on, Quinn. Hold on, Quinn. Well, Noel, Noel, why, why, why did you say no? My bad. She, she eating. Be nice. <laughs> she nah, real. Well, listen, here's, his right, mindset go, is kind of. baby. I'm sorry, Susan. I'm eating this um, dark chocolate um, bark from Trader Joe's. Put you on. It's good. It's healthy. Anyway, his mindset is a little off. It's a little um, manip- manipulative. What he just said, I mean, he's been talking a lot, right? And he's like, I only mess with these type of women for these reasons. I want to date a 40 and 50 year old because she ain't going to ask me for no money. I want to do it's very, yeah, yeah, but- very, mm-hmm. it's very fly. It's like, it's like you, it's not because you just, well, maybe, maybe it is. Maybe no, you, it do, is. you do feel like you don't have what it takes for women with your I age. I do, I do, but then you feel like you don't have it, have what it takes for women your age. So you want to go and get an older woman and make what, try to make her think you really want her for her, but you kind of no. want her because it kind of, Helps with your ego, so I don't know. I, it's mm. it's just I just feel like this is that ain't me. That ain't me. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say you. I don't believe. Wait, wait. Let me let me be a baby mama. Say I don't think his intentions. I don't think his intentions are pure. I think that's why I'm trying to get. But, but hold on, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use I'm gonna use last week panel. Let me use last week panel as example to show Anton you full of shit, right? First off. Miss Sanchez came on here with some fake ass eyelashes. We, you identified it, right? Fake ass motherfucker. You ain't got no real eyelashes. She came on here with a fake ass. Oh. Sanchez. No, listen. She came here with a fake ass Sanchez chain on, right? You flamed up for it, right? All the stuff that that we perceive to be fake, right? You flamed her up. This nigga come up here looking like a fake ass fifty cents, and you're making every excuse in the book for him. Like I said, it's bullshit. No, fake shit don't equals no. Fake shit do not equals confidence. You no, know, I never. That's what it is. I, it's no, 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 no. See, that's what it is. That's what it was giving me. It was giving me fake shit. Like you logic, know, logic, logic, logic is capping because Miss <laughs> San, Sanchez will tell you herself that I showed her nothing but the utmost respect. I never flamed her up. I never said anything negative about her whatsoever. Am I off, Miss Sanchez? Or is Logic just trying to create a narrative? So you do this, do this. I don't wait, Logic, let it answer. Oh, oh, I want to announce. You did call me a terrorist. And it could <laughs> only be from what you saw online. You did say something about my chain, saying Erica. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you didn't go too hard, but you were a little no, soft. No. You know, but, 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 yeah, hold on, Logic, let her finish. You were so hard on the women last week, and you being soft on him. That ain't. Hold on, wait, 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 you called it before I did. Oh, you know that's a lie because I get individuals and them can't follow. <laughs> no, okay, wait, wait, wait. You know how I know this is all cap. You know how I know this is all cap because when me and her had a conversation, she asked me to go in on her. She asked me to criticize. What my red flags were. And I and Q will tell you, and Quentin, you also, you, you was there. 
I said, no, I said, I don't want to do that. I'm not doing that to her because she was not disrespectful. She never said anything negative. Only thing I can speak on is the thing that she shared with us. I never went in on her. And even when the chat was asking me to, because she never disrespected me. Am I off cue? <laughs> no, no, he did. I just, I don't know. Shit. I'm going to just he say this. I don't, believe, I don't believe King J GP. I live in Houston. First off, <laughs> so I know how the women are out here. I but think that if you are good. getting, if you are getting chicks, you're probably flaunting your money because women out here huh. definitely jump huh. at you. Well, you are flaunting some big chains, and maybe they're dumb enough to not think they're real. But I just know how the women are in Houston. They will jump if they see money. But thing is, I don't trust women. I don't trust women under forty because thing is. I go for old women because I'm looking for appreciation for respect and chivalry that I show while I'm dating. Young but women that just doesn't seem that doesn't even me. seem like your natural nature, though. It's like you moving out of fear. It's no, like you, was, you you don't. I, I don't I know, man. That this is how he really shows up. That's what's Thanks. got me stumped. Is is you're acting like a character? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're presenting how you would really be if you saw take. a woman you were interested in. No, That's what I was no, saying. No, I'm right. I, I can't believe that's not at all. Women like but, this. But then you're giving it to me. No, Maybe because no. I, I live in Houston, I know how the women are in Houston. But, so I know, I just know. Yeah. But think, but think, what? Like, <laughs> Tasha, how I shoot my shot. Tasha, yeah, how I shoot my shot. Shoot your shot at me. What was right, we so you? We had to learn. Yeah, put him on the screen. Put him on the screen. So, put me on screen. Put me on screen like you said. <laughs> put me on screen like you said. Why you doing? Oh, nigga. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> All right, so usually, if I see a woman that's in her 40s and 50s that I find attractive, I usually go up to her and I'll be like, excuse Talk me, Mr. Sanchez, my nigga. I'll be like, excuse me, ma'am. No, no, you're talking to Sanchez. Pretend you, that's her. All right, so I'll be like, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, I'll be like, I believe I'm looking at the most beautiful woman on earth. Like my, I'm like, my name GP. What's your name? I stick my hand out, tell me their name, shake hands, and then nice to meet you as a formal introduction. Then I'm like, look, I know I just met you and all, but I think you're very beautiful. And Wait, like, you got to role play with her. King, pr pretend you're talking to Sanchez. Yeah, you got a role play. So King GP, you see her, you feeling her, go. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. I Damn. believe you. Yes. I look at you. Okay, you look about 40. So I looked at all to be a ma'am. Okay, go ahead. How, what's up? <laughs> I just wanted to say that I believe I'm looking at the most beautiful woman on earth. Oh, thank you. My name's GP, by the way. What's your name? My name's Erica. GP, your real name? Nah, nah, that's just my nickname. Oh, so you approaching me with nicknames? Okay. <laughs> But later on down the line, if you take me serious, and then if we build a if we build a strong enough connection, you can know my real name. But thing is, look, I know I just met you and all, but I think you're very beautiful, and I really like to get to know you. So I was wondering if I could maybe uh, get your number. And how old are you? Twenty four. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just you know tell you to have a good night, and I'm gonna pass. <laughs> All right, you have, all right, all right. You have a nice day. Okay, that, that's hey, how you don't let her it like that. Yeah, that's, how, that's, how, that's that's how you handle rejection. I, I say, well, you have a nice day, man. That's you. No, man, you have a nice day. That's really what you really will do. do. Yes, that's how you really do it. That's very bad. It yeah, is. What's bad? What's bad about what he said? It was just. Yeah, what's bad about what It was just. It was. It was just. It was just, what did he say? He was like, um, he was like, I believe I'm looking oh, at I, I'll tell you my nickname, way. but if we, if, if, if you date me again, if you talk to me again, then I'll give you my real name. It's like, it was corny. It was weird. It's like, just be real. You playing That's these what you do. <laughs> you playing, and, and it's not mm. funny. You know what I mean? It's like, maybe you were saying that to crack a joke, but it wasn't, but it was just like, nigga, I don't have to get to know you beyond this. Or sorry, I didn't mean to curse, but I don't have to get to know you beyond this. Then, you to be giving me ultimatums about your name after you approach me. So it just gets no weird. Austin. That's it no gets Austin. weird, dude. So yeah, that's still no lost. That's still no lost. That's still no lost. And, and you're right. And you're right. And you're right. And you're right. I don't think the confidence that he had on the panel talking about 40, 50 year olds 
showed up when he was trying to shoot her a shot. I kept being cut off by her. I kept being cut off. You can't approach somebody that's older and call them a ma'am. Like, that's just... (laughs) (laughs) I'm up with a different word. Ma'am is giving... Yeah, that's just... That's call, call, it shorty. Shorty. call that the bitch shorty, my nigga. Calling somebody a ma'am, I'm being disrespectful, ma'am. Are you? That's why yeah. ma'am, ma'am is literally a sign of uh, respect. respect. Exactly. Yeah, I know he's trying to be respectful, but when you're dealing with somebody that's 40, 55, as you say, they're going, ma'am, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just showing your respect. That's yeah, only after initial interaction I call her ma'am. Like That's in the south, it. we'll say it. Like in the south, we'll just say it, no matter if it's someone younger. Y'all don't even like, like it when dudes show y'all respect. Damn, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He's being respectful. Okay, so, so, so if he was approaching really a twenty-four year old, would he have said, "Ma'am"? Yeah. Right. Now listen, 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 listen. I, I know what y'all want. Y'all, I know what y'all want with attention. Like, what's going on? Person, you look, you look, you look. I love the way your ass is sticking out them jeans. Exactly. Right? That's what they want. That's what they want. You, you want? Listen, I know what you want them to do. Hey, what's going on, baby girl? What's happening? You wanted to call your baby girl instead of ma'am? No. Dude, I don't. I don't <laughs> what you want? What, 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 what you want to call? You say, hey, how you doing? Okay. No, you don't know. Hey, how you doing? How, what, hey, how what's are you? What's going on, baby? What's going on, baby? I like girl? that dress. I like that dress. Or, or not, not even because that can give bored. You know, depending on who you're talking to, that could be weird too. You know, just just be normal, like relax, like he all was this normal. Shit. He was good, exactly. You being soft right now, Anton. No, he what do y'all Anton, want him to do? Wait, 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 Anton. When do you? What do y'all do? want him to do? You want him to wait, walk wait, away? Anton, y'all when? Do when did somebody use the term "ma'am" when they trying to get with somebody? Well, that's you a lie. I've I called men. 2023, you gotta call. Yeah, that's, that's like the thing south. nowadays. Yo, okay, and I'm from the south, and then people we try to fuck, we don't call them ma'am and sir. He's he not going to walk up to a twenty-four-year-old. That's not true. Oh, you that's tell me, you go I mean, right <laughs> You so you. so King true. GP, would you go up to a 24-year-old and say, excuse me, ma'am, or would no, you say, excuse then, me, miss? I'll just say, excuse me, because then you... Right. Oh, so that woman, means that he's is. adding the ma'am because, because of her perceived age. But the thing is, me, and that is out of respect for your elder, which to me means she's too old for you. Like, no, that's, not that's, that's not true. true. That's not true. I'm close to a 50-year-old in time. Listen, no. you you can listen. The, the thing about it is that what I tell guys all the time is just to be yourself. You don't have to try to impress her unless you're just trying to fuck her for the night. And that's the thing that y'all missing. The only time that a dude should be trying to impress you on his introduction is when he's trying to fuck you for the night. Because because the thing that he he should be wanting you to see is who he truly is so he can vet whether or not you actually are looking for, you know what I'm saying, a genuine conversation or trying to understand who the person is. Or if you're just trying to be impressed, because a lot of people impress a lot of people all the time, but that don't necessarily mean that they got their best intention at heart, right? Y'all not actually trying to be friends. Y'all not trying to kick it. Y'all not just trying to laugh. Y'all not trying to be goofy. Man, listen, I used to go out with chicks all the time, all kind of chicks, just to go out and vibe and have a good time, go to fucking rock concerts that I ain't never been to before, go and do some wild shit that I ain't never seen before. Just because it didn't mean that I had to fuck her at the end of the night. It didn't mean that I had to do anything with her. I might have just made a connection with a chick that I might link up with on some on some business type shit later on in life. But I think that people take themselves too serious. It's not that deep. Like just go out, have fun, whatever happened, play along with it. People all everybody trying to be impressed while be impressive. It ain't that deep. Just go out and chill. And laugh and have fun. Like I don't think that people. I think that people is overcomplicating what life really is. It's just not that deep. And from uh, what he said, ma'am and sir, like I wouldn't. I wouldn't take that too personal because I'm. I'm. I'm I live in Houston. You say that to anybody, right? Young people, old people. It's just a sign of respect. So I know in different states, it's usually for older people, but in Houston, we say it to whoever. Like I'll even say it to my nieces that are three and four. Yes, ma'am. It's just a respecting, just in general. But well, that's but that's not what I asked. You're not, trying to, you're not, trying, to, ahead, you're not trying to get your niece. Yeah, I mean, but even if it, but logic, even if it was a guy I was going on a date with, I'm gonna say, sir, 
It's a respect thing. Right. So but I'm you, you he just word. said but, he just said though, if he went up to a 24 year old female, I would cover he would, he, hold on. Oh. He just okay. said if he went up to somebody who was 24, he would not have used ma'am. So that tells mm. me for him, maybe for you, but for him, he does use it based off of some type of Older criteria. People. And I'm guessing it's yes. age. And all yes. I'm saying is as a 40 year old, if if you come up to me and you're like, ma'am, it's not that I'm offended. It's just right away. I'm thinking you're younger than me, like substantially <laughs> younger than me. So now between that and you now with which with what followed, I'm not thinking of you could potentially be somebody for me. And I'm just offering this because he said it hasn't worked so far. So maybe if he just works on his word choices. Maybe he'll get a little. Oh, bit it's not even about. About. This is what happened. This is what happened. I suggest he go a little younger. He talked, but, you know. he talked that shit, right? He got put on the spot <laughs> and he sold it. Man was the first thing because we didn't did this on Fight Club. We didn't did this multiple times. Niggas get in here and start talking big shit. Then out of nowhere, he said, "Okay, well, go ahead and shoot your shot." And then he and folded. I, I wait, wait, off with him. 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 Listen, listen. listen. He fold, and then now he didn't. He can think of nothing else to say because he ain't got no game. That's and the only thing he can, he can think of saying is, "Ma'am." But look, nope. if you would have said, said that, he thought that she was forty. Wait, wait, he said he yes. thought she was forty. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. I'm saying this. This is how corny that shit was. If you would have told him from Atlanta, if you would have told him you was from Atlanta, he would have been like, "What's up, Shouty?" <laughs> or if you would have told him he, he was from goddamn New Orleans, he'd be like, what up, Warden? See, he ain't got nothing. He ain't got no game. And you need to sit I, I back in the and him. listen. Ah. This is goofy. Listen, listen. And I think, no, you no, you must follow Anton channel because you get a lot of these ah, goofy right. talking points and it ain't going to work for you. All right, so, King GP, GP, King GP, remember this. Never All right. change. All right. Never change. Yeah, but just any keep, woman. Listen, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Just hear me out. Right. Don't fucking listen to logic. This is this is the truth. Fuck game. <clears throat> Fuck game. All right. If you actually trying to get results in life, be authentically you. Don't change. Don't try to be cool for everybody else. <clears throat> don't move any differently. Don't try to don't try to start to fit in. None of that shit. Be one hundred percent authentically you. And the people that actually want to be around you and rock with you is going to be around for the right reasons. They're not going to be around because you fit in, fit a narrative. They're going to be around because they genuinely care for who it is that you are. And that's the type of people, that's the type of energy you want your tribe around you. Fuck all the rest of this bullshit. Right. You're going to level up. You're going to grow. You're going to evolve. You're going to become a better version. But don't fucking lose your edge as far as who it is that you are as a person and what makes you unique. What makes you unique and what separates you from everybody else is that you're not trying to be like everybody else. I like your style. Thank you. I like the fact that you use the hat. I like the fact that you got your name back there. I like who you are. Just continue to be authentically you. Never change. Don't fuck the game. Be real. And the people that's going to rock with you is going to rock with you. Never change, bro. Never.